Uh, Montague Sellers uh, is the name of the wine. It was um, sort of a, a way for me to learn how to make wine without taking myself out of the workforce. Uh, I definitely couldn't afford to just put everything down and try go to UC Davis and take winemaking classes. So I figured out a slightly entrepreneurial way of investing my own money and starting a label. Um, started in 03, and the first few vintages I made at Poplar Grove Winery with the help of Ian Sutherland, the winemaker there. And now, um, you know, we're plugging away. Uh, it's called Three Barrel Merlot is the red because I only make three barrels. Um, it's based on we purchase two tons of grapes, purchase all my own barrels, my own yeast strains. You know, I do everything um, on my own, but with uh, a professional overlooking, <laughs> overseeing, if that makes sense. You know, as a wine buyer, I've been a sommelier for almost 10 years now in the city, so um, I've seen many of these wineries start out. You know, when Poplar Grove first started, Ian would put his wine in his minivan, drive it to Vancouver, taste Brent Heyman at Rain City Grill first, then me at C second, and if we didn't buy it all, he'd move on to someone at Bishop's third. <laughs> you know, he only had so much in the truck at a time. And I've seen a lot of these wineries begin um, from scratch. You know, I, I've seen Joie's first vintage, I've seen Laughing Stock's first vintage, and just been real supporters of them as they are of us. So it's a great industry for um, people helping each other out. Yeah, in one word, it's hospitality. It's all the way through. Everybody just wants to um, answer each other's questions, take care of them, you know, and nothing says that more than opening a glass of wine and serving a bit of food and uh, breaking bread and, and chatting about, you know, any issues or problems that might arise uh, making wine.